Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is, if we look at our list view here, we're actually going to move Mercury over there, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, all the way down. We're going to move them side by side. And we're going to modify them a little bit. This time, you know, we click here, and when we click there, like, and the whole row lights up. We're actually going to make it so we have to click the text itself. So, how do we actually do this? Well, see our list view row? We're actually going to other properties. I'm going to make it uh, clickable for the text. So if we keep going down, we'll find clickable. Actually, oh, because it's in, <laughs> it's in the other direction. There we go. Clickable. True. Just make sure that that ed edited. Yeah. Okay, it's now clickable. So we can set listeners to this. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to shift its gravity, the layout's gravity, over left or actually be um fairly sure left is it yeah left okay it's good so we're actually going to rename this to list view uh we're actually going to save that right okay now we're going to create a new layout and we're going to call this list view row Right, finish, done. Now, since it's a linear layout and all that, we're actually gonna copy paste the code from this. Um, I get rid of the header view, we can close that. The reason I'm copying and pasting the code is just because it makes things easier. And we just change this to right. And that puts it over on the right. So now we've got two layouts. We're gonna incorporate both of those into our list view. So how do we do it? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to extend array adapter string and we're going to actually modify this to handle that. So you can actually customize how it fills layouts. And this is very useful if you've got like, you know, images you want to load, whatever you need to do. So we're going to make a private class and we're going to call it um, planet adapter. This is going to extend array adapter string. Okay. Wa bam. And we have to add a constructor. I was just a context and int, which is the text view the resource ID. We can actually just ignore this because we're going to override some behavior. Now, here's a trick I got in a comment of a video. If you right click here and go to source. And we go to override implement methods. This brings up this little box here where you can actually select which ones we want to override rather than type them in. So we're looking for get view. There it is there. Okay. Boom. So now we have our override view put in. So that's nice, isn't it? We've got all this stuff here done. So what is all this happening? Well, what we're going to do is, see the way here we have a... Um, See the way, yeah, here we have our, this is our array adapter string, and this is an overloaded actually method here. We're gonna actually say this array adapter is equal to new planets adapter. And we'll put in our, we'll change our uh, constructor arguments up here to suit. And then down here, things get a little bit weird. So we've got view, we just change it to view view because I like it that way. Okay. Be great if I uh, put the V in. So, what is this? Well, this method, when every time get view is called on each time it loads, what happens is it loads into the activity, sets up the adapter, and it goes, okay, get a view for this, and then loads it, gets a view for this, and loads it. And this returns a view. So, we'll actually type in view here, we don't need that super at all. So, it returns the view. So, the view is passed in, the position is passed in, the group parent is passed in. So what we can do here is we can modify our view. We can inflate a view or we can use the view that's already passed in. So up here we pass in list list view row. We're going to ignore this view here. Okay. Well actually we'll rewrite it. So 
Remember how we've got our uh, layout inflator up here? So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, modify our, here, we'll just get this inflator here. It's easier than typing out again. So the first thing we need to do is get our view left. We'll just say view equals, okay? Now, of course, we want or that layout, and it's list view row. Okay, so that's view left. And say view. Then we can say view right. So what we're doing here is, this essentially is where the binding takes place, but we're actually gonna modify it and do our own custom work here. So, list view row right. So we've got that, we've got our two views. So we want it to go every second number is gonna be on the left, every other number is gonna be on the right. Yeah, makes sense. So, position one. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is we need to get, remember how we've got our planets array? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the resources from that manually. So planets, so, oh yeah, planets. So string planet name, because planet and position. So what this does here is it actually gets the planet at that position. Okay, so we've got that. So for position one, it's going to retrieve planet one, uh, which is Mercury, and then it's going to you know planet name. Fair enough. So we've got our two views. So then if I want to say position modulus two double equals zero. So if it's even. We're going to say uh, view left view left actually no we need a text view don't we okay i'll show you a little trick here text view we're going to cast this we're going to set the text up without actually making a variable uh view left there's actually i've seen it somewhere online dot find view by id or dot id dot list to text okay um need a bit of a bracket here dot set text and then we can uh, set it to planet name okay so for every even one it's going to be on the left and then else god damn it mixing up all my keys we're going to copy paste this and we're going to say view right okay so it finds the same view the same uh, list text so if you go view right see what it's called list text as well it'll be put on the right hand side so we're going to return our view then now which view do we return bit of a confusing one here well, remember the view above, where well, we can say view equals view left, done, and then view equals view right. So this line here gets the text view by that ID and sets its text to that, and this one here sets it to the one on the far side. So if we do this, we need to set up our adapter. So a new ray adapter string, that's going to be planets adapter. And of course this is all wrong, because it's modified this is. What this does is now, remember, it takes two arguments, are this argument, our context, and text review resource ID, which is that there. So we're, we're not even using it, it's just been loaded in. So what this does is it gets the view, inflates them, and then returns the view that we want. So we should, with a bit of luck, uh, get these to go left, right, left, right, down, long, or right, left, right, left, depending which way it goes. Hmm. That is a new one. A quick look at my errors. Okay, guys, so I worked out what was happening. 
uh, the get view is never being called because we weren't loading any data in. Because this is an extension, we have to override a constructor, and we have to use we have to over we have to call the constructor super uh, method. So what we done was I I made a modification to it. I actually looked it up. And um, first of all, I created this dot planets. Okay, so I changed the constructor to be the four constructor that we had before that we used to have up here. We also called this planet adapter. And then I just uh, mapped the um, array of strings called planets being passed in onto the new array here, and it's all remained the same. And as you can see, the result is, well, bam, left, right, left, right. Now the next thing we're going to do after this is we're going to show how to uh, make these clickable, these views here. But as you can see, it's working. So that's customizing a list view adapter with a uh, or customizing an array adapter with this here. And we can use this for databases and anything. The principle remains the same. Each time this is called for each view, and then this is how you process each view individually. Now there is other ways of doing this, particularly with a view binder, and I'll show you that method as well in the future.